Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Most of us are used to finding out about the weather from either our phones or the local non-gender specific weather person on TV or radio. Bet you didn't know, however, that one of the major efforts going on at the Vatican these days under the Pope Francis pontificate is meteorology. Yep, meteorology. Pope Francis, the global worldwide weatherman. That's what it boils down to in his latest offering, a pronouncement essentially that the world is about to end due not to just the environment, but man's destruction of the environment. And by man, he means Americans with, of course, no mention of the Chinese, the biggest polluters in world history. Nope, just Americans. Pope Francis appears to have a bone to pick with America in general, specifically with political conservatives and Orthodox Catholics, of which there is a somewhat sizable overlap. From the outside looking in, an Orthodox Catholic who is also an America First Patriot is treated like a devil by the Francis pontificate. Of course, all of this environmental alarmism is yet another Marxist strategy to empower the government and destroy the little guy by undermining the economy, by obliterating energy independence for just one thing. Remember two buck gas? Wasn't that long ago. Owing to Marxists, meaning Democratic control in D.C., the little guy is now paying almost $100 more per month in after-tax income for the exact same amount of gas. Likewise, across the entire economy, airlines, buses, trucking, everything that touches gas, prices have exploded and pretty much stayed there. That's the new Biden normal. Airlines fly fewer planes, resulting in fewer overall seats, jam-packed flights, a ridiculously impossible turnaround schedule for crews, and even then, the cost per ticket has increased. Prices at grocery stores have jumped because of the fuel cost for trucks getting food from the farm to the store shelves, and on and on. Things cost less when the commies didn't have power because, well, bottom line, the commies didn't have power. And yet, they are relentless in shoving their policy of decreasing our energy independence, environmental alarmism, Green New Deal, save the earth crap down our throats like it's the truth. And over there on the sidelines are perhaps their biggest cheerleaders, the U.S. Bishops' Conference. Francis even shouted them out directly in his latest publication, praising them for their leadership in this area. Leadership? The bishops, as well as Pope Francis, don't know the first thing about environmental science. They're supposed to be teaching the faith, not offering stupid, unscientific, uninformed opinions about the weather. Opinions that just happen, by the way, to dovetail nicely into the communist global control agenda. Once again, the U.S. bishops add to their treasure chest by collecting taxpayer funds for pushing not only the errors about immigration, but also climate alarmism. They have as well all the multiple endorsements they need on groups from federal, state, local levels, talking about getting all of the changes in weather being attributable to man. They get all of this money from all of these resources. To help, those in the, to, help, to help expose these errors, Church Militant is once again happy to organize our Deposit of Faith Coalition members and sponsoring another press conference for politically conservative media so they can understand the connection here. Presenting to the media on Tuesday, November 14th, which will be at the Four Seasons Hotel in Baltimore during the bishop's annual meeting will be a number of the most highly respected experts ever assembled. John Clauser, 2022 Nobel Prize winner in physics, who will debunk the phony science behind all of this. Mark Morano, producer, writer, and former investigative reporter for Rush Limbaugh, who'll blow the lid off the plot to collapse America's energy, transportation, and food supply, using the climate crap to do it. And Alex Newman, award-winning international journalist who has covered this topic for years and the misinformation from the left about it. Think Greta Thunberg and the media canonization of her. Yours truly, multiple Emmy award-winning investigative journalist, will also be presenting on the hierarchy's complicity in all of this. The press conference will be available for everyone at home to begin watching live at 1 p.m. Eastern time on November 14th. Please tell everyone you know. Spread the word about this. 
Church Milton is leading the charge, hands down, with our Deposit of Faith Coalition in trying to roll back at least the funding the bishops get in all of this unethical activity, be it for immigration or, in this particular case, environmental alarmism based on phony science. As you know, we were in D.C. last week on the Hill interviewing congressmen who have had it with the America Last agenda, supported, of course, by the U.S. bishops. And now, once again, we're taking the fight right to the bishop's doorstep. As the bishops meet and plot in the Marriott directly across the street, at the exact same time, we will be broadcasting their lies with a Nobel Prize winner and respected journalist experts in all of this. So, we'd like to make an appeal for you to help pay for all of this. It's extremely costly, traveling the crew, the equipment, the setup, all of it, running the facilities, bringing in the speakers, as well as three weeks of background research and man hours we've already put into this, and the hard work hasn't even begun yet. The last press conference we sponsored in July in D.C. about immigration garnered more than 25 million media impressions as outlet after outlet, conservative ones, kept publishing info from the press event, even Steve Bannon and Infowars picking it all up. Like the Stu Peters uh, show that I was just on, picked up our work last week on Capitol Hill. Staffers in Congress told us that that was extremely helpful, that press conference, for them in pitching their legislation to simply cut off the funding for the bishops and other religious left groups. Well, here we go again. Cut off all the funding for them, all of it. Every last dime, whatever policy of the communists they are pushing, immigration or climate. So please click on that donate button just below us here and be the heroes, the impetus in launching another broadside against this corruption. Fight back. Catholics can't vote the bishops out of office, but we sure as heaven can get the federal and state funds shut down. So please donate whatever you can. This is a line of attack never before launched against the crooked American hierarchy, going around the insulation that they have constructed for themselves within church circles and blitzing their exposed flank for which they have zero defense. Again, please donate to this noble, worthy cause. Who knew, for patriotic Americans, Catholic especially, that the bishops are the biggest enemy you never knew you had. Thank you in advance for your donation. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.